to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Blake. I just woke up, so <laughs> I'm very tired. We kind of slept in this morning, and I really wanted to get up early this morning, and that's just one of the worst feelings when you want to wake up early and be productive, and you sleep through your alarm. It just makes me feel like so <laughs> disappointed in myself, you know? Oh, well, it's a really gloomy day when I woke up earlier. It was raining, so that's my excuse. I'm making a coffee right now to wake myself up. I used the, what did I use? We keep all of our espresso pods in these little containers from Amazon. My two favorites are the Bianco Doppio, Doppio and the Double Espresso Dolce. They're both double shots of espresso. And they're so good. I feel like I've tried a million and these are my favorites. This is my favorite part of my morning latte. I, I got this months ago. I had never used a milk frother before. I kind of thought it was like an unnecessary gadget to have, but I was mistaken. I'm obsessed with this thing. I use it all the time. You can make like hot froth or cold foam with it. So I made a cold foam. I use the Malk Vanilla Almond Milk. This is like my favorite brand for almond. I don't really even like oat milk, but if I get oat milk, it's that. Um, and then this, Nut Pods Almond and Coconut Creamer. And this is the French vanilla flavor. It's so good. I put both in here. I'm also gonna take my pre and probiotic. These are, what brand is this, Lemmy? I think this is one of the Kardashians brands. This is their Lemmy Glow supplement. It supposedly is good for your hair, skin, nails. It's biotin and collagen. I would be lying if I said I didn't take this in the morning just because it tastes like candy. <laughs> They're so good. It never misses, it's so good. I very rarely buy coffee out anymore because I truly prefer these just saying a lot for me. This is the Coco June brand. Strawberry rhubarb is the flavor and it is my favorite. It's so good. Um, I'm just gonna have a quick breakfast and then work out. We don't have any clean spoons, so I'm using a fork. I always sit on the floor right here and journal, mainly because the fire is right there and it's always cold in here in the morning. So sitting by that fire is so cozy. I love starting my day this way. I honestly, it was kind of a hard habit to make because I just forgot about it, but I've been doing this every day for like pretty much every day for years now. So it's, it's like a part of my morning routine I cannot skip out on. <laughs> I think it takes like 30 days to make a habit. So if you're trying to get into journaling, just like set an alarm on your phone or something so you remember to do it every day. And then after that, you pretty much, I feel like you just like want to do it in the morning when you wake up. I'm gonna do a move with Nicole class on YouTube. I love her Pilates classes and she has a bunch that are just like 20 minutes. So super quick and easy to incorporate into your day, but they are killer. I'm always burning. So I'm gonna do one of those. Contact with the mountains. Challenging your lower abs. Inhale, extend, right tricep. Exhale, lower abs. Inhale, extend, right tricep. My friend Annika is on her way here right now on train from New York. Um, she's gonna come stay with me for a couple days. She does live in LA. Um, we met when she lived in Boston and she moved there. If you've been following me for years, you know who Annika is. But she has been spending a couple weeks or like a month, she's been there for a while, in New York. Um, and before she heads back to LA, she is going to come visit Boston. And of course the day she comes, it's so gloomy and rainy all day. But it is 57 degrees right now, which is so warm. So I'm pumped about that. Um, but yeah. Bummer that it's not sunny for her arrival. 
I need to clean up a little bit before she gets here because it's a little messy. I need to clean the guest room, which also is my office. I don't really know what to do in that room. I'll show you when I go up there, but it has truly been empty since we moved in. The only thing that's in there, the closet's full because I use the closet, but it's literally a rug, my desk, a half full dresser and a mirror. Like there's nothing else in there. I don't know what to do with that room. I don't want to put a bed in there because I just don't want it to be like purely a bedroom. I want it to be a multi-purpose room. Um, so I don't know if I should do like a pull-out couch or a day bed that looks like a couch. I don't know. I don't know. I've like been trying to figure it out for truly months, obviously, because it's still empty in there. We've been here since June. Um, but I don't know. That's where she will be sleeping. So I have to go clean that room because that is my junk room. I spent like hours cleaning it last week because it's the room where I... If I don't know where to put something or I don't have time or I don't want to clean, I just throw it in there. And like every single month, it just becomes an absolute disaster, like mountain of things to put away. So it's not that bad right now, thank God, because I cleaned it last week. But there's still just like random clothes and PR and like trash. <laughs> so I need to go clean that for her. I also need to clean and set up the guest bathroom. And I just need to clean the apartment because it's a little messy so I have an hour that's what I'm gonna spend doing I haven't seen her since we went to Costa Rica in September uh, but before then I had not seen her in honestly I think a year so it's gonna be fun to spend obviously we spent time together in Costa Rica but there were 18 of us there <laughs> so it'll be fun to have some like really like one-on-one -on -one time to catch up <laughs> Hi. I'm so happy you're here! I'm so happy I'm here! I haven't been here in years. years! Since you moved. Years! Do you need to, are you hungry? Do you need to stop anywhere? Um, Do you want to go to Whole Foods or anything? Do you need snacks before we go back? We can grab snacks. Feel like people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, should we just go to the grocery store quickly? Yeah, let's go it's to the like a store. five minute drive. Okay. Wait, I'm so excited. If you don't need to immediately get on the computer right now, we'll go. No, my day's pretty chill actually. Okay, lovely. Which is awesome. I'm trying this other brand called Elenos. Okay. 
looks so good. It's a Greek yogurt, but with passion fruit on the bottom, and it's actual passion fruit, which I'm so excited, not like some flavoring. Brings you back to Costa Rica, and does. <laughs> I love it. Creamer. Whoa. Coconut creamer. Some olive ops and then a massive <laughs> fucking jar of pickles, and I really want one right now. Um, I got these to dip our carrots in. It's a the Coco June Labne Yellow Lemon Dill little yogurt dip, which I'm excited to try. I feel like this is going to be close to like a tzatziki. Yes. And then I got like a little immunity shot because I was on a train and people are gross. People are gross. I'm so excited for these. Uh, I love pickles. We love everywhere. pickles. Oh my god. It's, like, it's wet. <laughs> oh. Condensation. The condensation. Cleo. Can you pour me one? Mm. You don't hate bread and butter pickles? I don't hate them. Oh my god. But I don't. I would prefer a gel. I get judged. <laughs> You know who loves it? My grandma loves red butter pickles. And I think really love that for us. <laughs> that tastes like dairy. <laughs> Coco Jean Papa. Coco Jean Slay with that. Wow. Which, by the way, I've heard that Slay is out, Epic is in. Oh. Mm hmm. Why are things recycled? <laughs> Can you confirm? Mm hmm. Is Slay out? Wait, I also need this. Know. These Bixby. Bixby chocolate. This is their peanut butter sea salt. This is like the best little treat. I'm obsessed with these. Hey. <laughs> we're going to a restaurant opening. The three of us, we're on a little date. I'm the third wheel. <laughs> we're opposites again. John, yeah, John, John you're actually, you're the third wheel. <laughs> and we're opposites again. It's a Japanese restaurant, I think. And our Uber's here. So we're gonna go. Absolutely, we love that, thank you. It's like a psoriasis commercial. No, <laughs> it's a cruise line. I had the same voice as like chronic black psoriasis. Tonight is Survivor premiere. It's not on yet. We're waiting, but we got a bunch of snacks. Season forty six. How wild is it that they have forty six seasons? <laughs> We're doing um, a taste test. So many things. Okay. I'm gonna try the Twix cookie dough bar, which I've never seen before. <laughs> you have to do ratings. Mmm. Good? Uh-huh. Wow. There's all dairy in it though. It's what? It definitely has dairy oh. in it. <laughs> <laughs> these are actually, can Wait. I see that? Oh my God. These are fire. Oh, those are so good. Oh my God, those are delicious. Wormy worms. Rainbow wormies. Whoa, look at the Cheers. dimension. <laughs> yeah, and you're saying rainbow wormies. <laughs> we went kind of crazy. Everything was good. We got a lot of snacks. These are good. I like how chewy they are. I was gonna say they're super chewy, but I like them. Mm -hmm. That's why I like Haribo though. Mm -hmm. I feel like some they get the texture right. brands aren't chewy enough. This is gonna either be the best one or incredibly disappointing. <laughs> I think it's gotta be the Mike and Ikes. The Mike and Ikes are just too good. Mike and Ikes were really good. Orange, watermelon, blue raspberry. Does anyone have a request? I would love blue raspberry. What are the flavors? Green apple, strawberry, cherry. Oh, I want black cherry. Oh, I'm so upset. It's sour, sweet, and fruity. I really feel it's just, it just sweet. I and was fruity. gonna say it's just sweet and fruity, barely fruity. Barely fruity. There's no sour. Mm -mm. These get a zero. We have started. Good morning, you guys. It's the next morning. I'm downstairs just enjoying the sun that's coming in. I woke up and it was so sunny out. Which is so nice because yesterday was very gloomy and gray but i think it's way colder today by like 20 degrees so give and take i guess <laughs> i kind of want to go on a walk but it might be too cold it was so windy last night all i could feel john and i were trying to fall asleep last night and i could feel the building just like shaking like moving with the wind oh my god it was terrifying to me i hated it i like i don't really mind snow i've lived here my whole life like i'm I, whatever rain doesn't bother me that much wind wind is it for me that's it's over at that point i hate wind i hate it like it scares me so much i would never do well in a place that has like even just minor hurricanes. Oh my God, I would absolutely freak out. 
it gives me so much anxiety so last night i didn't sleep very well so i just woke up it's like 7 30 i did set my alarm for six so it's another day of sleeping through my alarm <laughs> it's like a very slow and humbling process for me becoming a morning person again because i'm not consistent with it and that is the goal of mine i feel like i'm not a morning person until i'm actually consistent with it right now it's like a few times a week i get up with like my six o'clock or sometimes five o'clock alarm do a workout in the morning and feel like so on top of things but then they're like the rest of the week i sleep in until the last possible minute and i really want to be consistent so I don't know we'll start again next week i guess because it's thursday today so the week's almost over i think i might make banana bread we have a bunch of overripe bananas normally we put them in the freezer and use them in smoothies but our container of bananas in the freezer is very full so i need to just bake with them so i think i'm gonna make banana bread and i think it'd be fun for them to wake up to banana bread i would like to wake up to banana bread <laughs> The sun is coming in here so nicely. I have the fire going. It's very cozy in here right now. I just mashed the bananas. It's four small ripe bananas. Half a cup of brown sugar. A quarter cup-ish of butter. This is the one I used, it's just the dairy-free one. Half a tablespoon of vanilla. Two tablespoons of non-dairy milk. One and three-fourths of a cup of all-purpose flour. A teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon of nutmeg. And then a half teaspoon to a full teaspoon of cinnamon, depending on how much you like. I like a lot of it. And some chocolate chips. Blake's got our teapot. We're making some tea. We're having a tea party. This is the tea we're using uh it's a mata mate latte i guess is that what it's called the flavor is it has roasted yerba mate cocoa blossoms almond and exotic herbs yummy along with our banana bread which i don't even know if you filmed it taking out i don't know either there's the loaf Boop. john's mom got me this little teapot i That's feel so like it's cute. from like world market or something I love like World Market. Me too. It's so adorable. These little cups. They're Blake's grandma's. <laughs> We've just been getting some work done while also watching Love is Blind <laughs> in the background. We are going to go grab some lunch right now. We're going to go to Lulu Green, I think. I'm obsessed with these sneakers. I do not remember what they're called. They're from Reebok. It says Reebok Adventure on the inside. So maybe that's the name. Nano. They also say that on the outside. I don't know if they love these. It's only like 33 now, so it's not getting much warmer. And I honestly think that's the warmest it's gonna get all day, which is a bummer, but at least it's sunny. And I think it's also windy, which is not great. I was literally about to be like, who's she on the phone talking to? <laughs> I like that both of our phone cases have our names on them. Look, it's Blake and Monica. Okay. Uh. <laughs> We're going to grab dinner at Asmara. You can remove the razor up. Um, it's an Ethiopian restaurant. Asmara, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, the best Ethiopian Thank restaurant you. I have ever eaten at. I'm very in excited. My life. And then we're going to, there's a new museum. I don't know if it's new or it's just a new exhibit. It's the called Wonder. Wonder in downtown. I've never w heard of it. But they have an event tonight, so. W-N-D-R. Where are we going? Have you seen this? I'm sure you have. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's the TikTok. I've been wanting one, actually. I want one that's quiet because I love the air up, but it's air, so it's really freaking noisy. Like, if you're feeling overstimulated and you have to get ready for something and you just hear, like, in your ear, honestly, it's the least enjoyable sensation. 
What's your favorite makeup uh, item? I'm or... not gonna say product because mine is like lips, like lip liner and a lip gloss. Like if that's the only thing I could do, that's okay. all I would do. I, I've yours? actually been thinking about this a lot recently. The one thing I like can't live without, I think, would be like. I would want like concealer because I have such bad dark circles. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, concealer because I need to cover up all my fucking acne scars. <laughs> but like fun makeup, like okay, fun makeup, mascara, mm -hmm. eyeshadow, blush, bronzer, whatever. I think blush. I like blush too. I love a blush. But I think lips are more. I just haven't found a good color for my skin tone. Why has Elle just sent me these? And oh like, my god, yeah, that color would okay. probably be better for me. It doesn't look good on me, and I haven't even used it yet, so you can try it. I'm gonna literally try it right now. And if you like it, you can have it. Slay. Let me try it. it I just know it's gonna look bad on me, so I'm I was gonna try say, it. this is like the color. Okay. Am I an idiot? Um, I guess just oh, slow. Just this slow. is it. Candy Glaze in 14. I have one of those in just like the clear pink one and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, like I love this. Oh, that's beautiful on you. Okay. I'm glad it has a home. <laughs> I will wear this so much. That's beautiful. I can't stop staring at my lips right now. <laughs> I have told Blake for so many years I'm not a lip person and it's literally just because I haven't found the right lip product. I love a lip product. My camera is truly just right about to die. I hope it stays for one more second. I air wrapped my hair, which I haven't done in a while. Ooh. I feel like I forget how good the air wrap makes it look. We love her. She's expensive, but we love her. All right, I'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna go. I'm so excited for Ethiopian food. I've only had it once and it was in a place in LA like two years ago. It was so good, so I'm so excited. This is my tripod right now, the Nespresso. Hey! Here's what I'm outfit. This skirt is so wrinkly. We're all in black and gray. I wear this sweater all the time. It's from Anina Bang. These boots. Little satin skirt. Little back made apology. The average person does that between 7 and 12 times per day. He's not thinking about what I think he's thinking about. <laughs> Good morning. I did Hilo's curls last night, as you can tell. I haven't done it in a while, but I did curl my hair with the Dyson last night, and I want to keep those curls going. My hair is so bizarre, though. At the end of the night, this side was still fully curly, this side straight, and I don't understand how that happens. So I did heatless curls to try to keep the curls going for a bit longer. Keeping a clip up here helps my hair, at least, so much from falling because this thing will literally end up at the back of my head. Sometimes, most of the time. It looks so insane when I, like... <laughs> Hello, Shirley Temple. <laughs> That's so curly. I wonder if it was just... So curly, because it already was curled. Oh no. We brush it out. I'm hoping it gets a little, oh my God, it's really curly. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> it's very sunny today. It's also the start of a new month. It's March 1st. And I woke up feeling a little motivated. Um, I'm not like a huge New Year's resolutions person and my mom isn't either and her uh, way of doing goals this year was to do like a monthly goal each month and I've kind of been inspired by that so I might it's like so hard to like set a goal for yourself and just make the timeline for it indefinite and I feel like if you set like a 30 day goal for yourself it sometimes becomes indefinite anyway because I think that's how long it takes to make a habit so the start of a new month is always a good time for me to start building habits so that's what I'm doing this month I just downloaded this app 
uh, called Habit Tracker. For the most part, I think it's way easier to add things. This is a given. Add things into your routine versus take them away. Especially if you're like, only eat this many calories a day. Like, don't eat any added sugar. No, yada, yada, yada. That's just so unsustainable. And I also think it's just healthier for you to add instead of subtract. Um, limiting things, I think, is a good thing. But I only did like four things in my habit tracker. 10K steps a day, 30 minutes of movement a day minimum, 90 ounces of water a day, and limiting my sugar. I'm not saying no added sugar specifically. No, I'm not saying no added sugar because I just know myself and I'm gonna feel like super restricted, but I'm gonna like severely limit it because I am for sure addicted to sugar. And I need to, I need to chill. Over the next 31 days, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see how it affects my mood, my energy, my skin. And today's day one. Okay, this is kind of better. We're starting our morning with a walk. It's 26 degrees. We have a little penguin. But we're bundling. And we're gonna get some steps in. And then we have to go to the Yay. airport. I'm not okay with it. 10K steps. Not right now, but maybe a couple K. A day. A day. March is the month of 10K steps. Actually, this is good for us. This is great. This is great. My, I'm trying to drink at least three of these a day. Ugh. 90 ounces. That's one of my habits for March. I drink about one. Me too. And three of these, like for John, this three of these is not a lot. You could drink four or five of these. Three is a big goal for me. Just like, so the way it works. Our walk was really cold. Very freezing, but we did it. I'm gonna feed our sourdough starter. I don't think I've documented this process at all in here, but we've been making sourdough. And honestly, I'm loving it. Oh my God, that is so sour smelling. That's the worst that's ever smelled. That actually like hurt my nose. The second I opened that, I felt like I got like fermentation into my nose. Yeah. yeah. We got this sourdough starter from John's dad. I think you can make your own, but it sounds like an extremely lengthy process. And really smelly. First thing you do is discard half because it grows when you feed it and you're gonna have too much. You can measure it, I, I eyeball. If you know someone who wants to start sourdough, this is what you give them and then they feed this. You can, people also get rid of this. We keep it because you can make a bunch of things with it, like crackers and bagels. You can literally make anything with it. And it does not taste like sourdough bread. Okay. Now we feed her. We're gonna do 60 grams of warm water. I mix it up with the water first because once you add the flour, it is extremely thick and hard to mix. Now we're gonna do 60 grams of flour, just regular flour, not bread flour. Now we mix. I wanna learn how to make flour. Like I, from a grain. You know, like there's an flour attachment ball. you can get on a KitchenAid mm. and you just buy the grains and it makes it's flour. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna make something with this tonight. So I'm gonna leave this on the counter. If you weren't gonna bake with it, or make dough with it later that day, you just put it back in the fridge. Okay, I have this rubber band so that I know where it is now and when it's doubled. That's hard. We're about to head to the airport. John is going on a work trip and Annika is obviously heading back to... Wait, are you going back to New York, Annika, or LA? Uh, New York. She's going back to New York. Um, but their flights are pretty much at the same time, so they're both going to the airport. <laughs> I'm so sad because they're both leaving at the same time. And I am going to be lonely. I think I'm going to go to the gym after I drop them off because 
I want to get my steps in and it's really cold. I might go to the gym and just do my workout of the day there instead of doing it at home and also walk on the treadmill to get some steps because I'll probably go on another walk later today but I don't see myself walking 10k steps outside today since it's so chilly. How cute is the color of this? It's kind of matching my my pants. I love the color. Hi! Bye. I love you. I'll see you so you. soon. <laughs> we just dropped them off. There's nothing more confusing to me than leaving the airport. I feel like I'm driving through an actual maze. But Logan actually is very well organized. It's so easy getting there. But leaving? That was very confusing for me. simple it's just bell peppers tofu kale and then I added salt pepper garlic turmeric and nutritional yeast our bread is toasting I've been obsessed with this drink recently I know it's very common in I think like Utah Arizona I think that that's where Swig is that soda shop where people get different soda drinks and you like add creamer to it. That's very uncommon here. There's no soda shops, at least where I've been on the East Coast. And adding creamer to soda is like totally foreign. <laughs> um, like I thought this was gonna be disgusting, but I keep, I've seen so many videos of people drinking Olipop. I'm not a huge soda person, but I do love like Olipop probiotic sodas. I've seen so many videos of people drinking Olipop with vanilla creamer or I don't know maybe other flavors of creamer but I tried it last week and it's actually delicious. I tried it with the orange Olipop and it tasted like a creamsicle. They used to have an orange cream flavor. I think it was limited edition and I want them to come back with it so badly because it was delicious but that kind of tasted like it and then I also tried it with the cherry one the cherry vanilla that was really good too and then with the root beer and vanilla creamer it tastes like a root beer float <laughs> and it's so good how funny and adorable is this little cup it has caterpillars on it i've just been catching up on some emails for the last couple hours i might start editing this vlog because i don't have a lot to do today but i it's a friday and tomorrow's the weekend and i just feel like i should try to get ahead on things i think i'm gonna spend the next couple hours or a few hours Starting to edit this vlog and get ahead on that. Um, and I'm pretty much through with my inbox, so. That's really, that's really all I'm doing today. It's, it's an extremely slow day. This is the Laird Coconut Superfood Creamer with adaptogens and the vanilla flavor. It is so good. This sounds so disgusting to me. When I first tried this, I was like, there's no way it's gonna be so repulsive. Whoever, whoever came up with this and started the soda with creamer thing, you were really onto something. I just came into this room to just put away the air mattress and clean it up. And this is what I find. <laughs> she left so 
so many hours ago. I just have not come up here. Oh my gosh. And a little note. What? <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my God, I love her. I'm gonna go open this right now, but I had to show you guys because this is just the cutest thing ever. I have on the biggest hoodie I could find in John's part of the closet because I really want it to be comfy. We're gonna make some bagels or some dough for bagels, I should say. This recipe is from a website called farmhouseonboon.com. If you wanna make these, just search sourdough bagels and that blog name and I'm sure it'll come up. 113 grams. And then after you use it, you feed it again. And I'm gonna put it back in the fridge until the next time I wanna bake with it. 236 grams of water. 21 grams of honey. Don't quote me on this, but I'm sure you could also use like agave or maple syrup or brown sugar or something. Maybe I'm wrong. I've never made bagels before, but it seems like it's just a sweetener you need. 10 grams of salt and then 560 grams of flour, but it says to do half at a time. So I'm going to do 280. I'm going to use this mixer. I don't really know what this one's for, but it feels right for this. So we're gonna do that. And now I'm gonna switch to the dough hook because it's gonna be really firm. I'm gonna just knead this for a few minutes with my hand until it's looking good. And then I'm gonna cover it with a damp towel and we'll be back in 12 hours to make bagels with it. Hey Siri, set a timer for one minute. And boiling obviously four at a time you just boil them for one minute and then flip them over and boil for another minute i'm gonna do two with flaky salt two with poppy seeds two with everything bagel seasoning and then two with cinnamon brown sugar oh my goodness here's what they look like it's said to bake them for 20 to 25 minutes so i did 22 uh, I'm thinking maybe I should have just done 20 because they seem pretty hard on the outside. I hope they're fine. They look delicious. I have to leave for lunch soon, so I'm not gonna get to try them until later. But they look so good. Hello, you guys. I'm getting ready right now because I'm gonna go grab lunch with my friend Steph. We met because we used to be neighbors at my apartment before this, and now she's one of my best friends. So we're gonna go grab some lunch. We're going to Petit Bear in the South End. I have not been there in years and it, I remember it being really delicious, so I'm excited to go back. It's also so gloomy today, so I'm glad we planned this because if we didn't, I probably would stay inside all day and be lazy. I did go on a walk this morning though. I went on, I think it was like 6,500 steps I got done in the morning out of my 10k goal for the day, so I'm feeling good about that. It says it's gonna rain, so I wanted to go on a long walk early because I just know I'm not gonna want to go in the rain. And I'm so hungry. I wanna try those bagels so badly. But I love going to a restaurant when I'm really hungry. I hate going to a restaurant when I'm like a little full and can't fully enjoy what I get. So I will not be eating them. I will eat them later. I think this is, this is the color rose. I usually use the color Primrose. They're very similar, I think. It's the Maracuja Juicy Lip from Tarte. I'm obsessed with these. I think this is what I'm gonna wear. I've been very into the color red lately. These jeans are the brand Girlfriend from Revolve. And they, I think I've honestly had these longer than most of my other pairs of jeans. I might do these ones instead. These are from Princess Polly. I've also had these for years. I don't know if that's cute, but we're gonna go with it. This has been my favorite perfume for the last couple weeks. It's the Ralph Lauren Romance. It smells so, so good. One more for good measure. John always says he likes all my perfumes, but I've never had him react how he reacted when I first sprayed this. I think he truly said every 10 minutes how much he loved the smell of it. <laughs> and every single time I wear it, he's like, oh, that's my favorite, I love it so much. All right, ready to go. 
It started raining when I left the restaurant, so I will be having a very cozy rest of the day. I came home to a package. This color is the literal exact opposite of anything I would ever go for. Like teal, dark blue is not my color, but for some, or not a color I like. I don't know if it's my color, who knows. But for some reason this color was calling me. I have a bunch of uh, like pants and long sleeves pajama sets, but I just wanted a cute little spring summer one. Okay, this top is adorable. I need to edit a video I filmed yesterday and get that posted. And then I need to work out because it's day two of my uh, 30, 31 days, however many days are in March, uh, 31 days of goals. And I'm not giving up on them yet, or at all, <laughs> I should say. So I do need to still work out. I do like to get my workouts out of the way in the morning and I didn't this morning because I was making bagels. So I have to do a workout, so I'm getting a little work done. Do an at-home Pilates class, probably the same channel I did one on a couple days ago, Move with Nicole. And then I will be fully soaking up this cozy, dreary, rainy Saturday night because there's nothing I love more than a weekend night in. John gets back tomorrow, so I'm just gonna have a me night and I love that. I'm gonna do a face mask. It's gonna be nice. Close your chest to protect your spine. And one, return through center. And three, may curl up a little bit higher. I'm gonna get ready for bed and have a chill rest of the night. It's very messy in here, but this is a job for tomorrow me, not tonight me. I'm gonna do a sheet mask. This one from Skin Laundry. Nothing makes me feel scarier than one of these masks. <laughs> they are spooky. Pajamas are so cute and so comfy. I just finished this book and I really liked it. Honestly, I thought the ending could have been better. But I love suspenseful books, which this was. So I was entertained throughout it, which I liked. I need to get another one anyone has any recommendations. Sometimes I take these at night, but honestly, I'm feeling so tired already. I'm not going to, but when I really cannot fall asleep, which is some nights, I really like these Array sleep supplements. I just take two. I honestly probably only use these like once, twice a week. This I take every single night. It's the Clear Stem Mind Body Skin Supplement. I take two a night. And I feel like it's helped my skin so much. I really am obsessed with this. I am about to purchase another bottle because I am almost done with my second. I spray this pillow spray on my pillows, obviously at night. It smells so good. Last thing I do before I get into bed is turn on my canopy. I just added water to this. 